Hello friends and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you the brand new season 4 battle pass in detail, which means we'll take a look at all the rewards from tier 1 to tier 50. Check out the datum inner for Forstro and subscribe if you haven't already. The link to the channel is in the video description. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to not miss any COD mobile news on my channel. Let's jump right into the video. We start with the first rewards which will await us on tier 1 in the new season 4 Fool's Gold Battle Pass. According to the information, we will get this brand new strong arm character skin in the floral fatality uniform on tier 1 after purchasing the BP. In my opinion a good character which I will definitely not use. Personally, I would have liked to see another female operator skin in the new battle pass. Also awaiting on tier 1 is this new blueprint for the Arctic 50 sniper rifle called Jungle Maw which is by far the worst blueprint in the entire season 4 battle pass. No modifications and no special design. Write me your opinion about it in the comments. In the new BP is also a new legendary calling card called Clandestine which shows the new Zoe Jungle Diva character with a revolver. On tier 6 we see the new epic range in the Ruin Avatar featuring the new David Mason character if I'm not mistaken. On tier 10 we get the second epic weapon skin in the new season 4 battle pass called CX9 Glorious Plumage, which I like because of its appearance. Probably the most interesting thing about the new CX-9 skin is the color selection of the weapon. Nevertheless, this blueprint is a disappointment in my opinion. After you reach tier 11 in the new battle pass, you will probably get this epic skin for Zoe called Jungle Diva. Basically, I like the new Zoe character even if I'm not 100% convinced by the new character skin. Nevertheless. I think that the new Zoe Operator is the best character skin we can get in the new Season 4 Battle Pass and you are welcome to write your opinion on the new Operator skin in the comments. On Tier 14 we see the already released Misdirection device which is a placeholder for the new score streak called RCXD which will be introduced in Season 4. After activating the new score streak, you are in control of a remote controlled car that explodes when it collides with enemies. After you reach tier 19 in the new BP, you'll get this brand new epic emote called Serpentine Buddy, which in my opinion is better than many other rewards in the new BP. Do you like the new Serpentine Buddy Season 4 Battle Pass emote? Write it in the comments. One tier further we get the next epic weapon skin from the new BP and that is this epic LK24 blueprint called Envenomed. The design is extraordinary and the iron sight is not bad either. That's all I have to say about the new Battle Pass blueprint. We continue because on tier 21 we will get the brand new functional weapon MG42 and already in my past season 4 leaks videos on my channel I introduced you to the new gun. Fittingly, I would like to show you a fitting gameplay for the new LMG. For tiers further we will get the new epic frame called Rubble Maker which definitely fits the theme of the new season 4 and of course you can write me your opinion about the frame in the comments. On tier 30 we will get the new David Mason Operator and his new Ruin Ranger uniform which is very good in my opinion. Even if not everyone is happy with a new David Mason character, I think that this Operator is far better than the David Mason character from the 4th Anniversary Battle Pass. On tier 39 we see the new epic explorer's lucky charm which looks not bad. Write me your opinion about it in the comments. On tier 40 in the new battle pass we can expect the new epic FR556 assault rifle unburied treasure weapon skin. In general, I am not convinced by the new blueprint and the iron sight is not a masterpiece of the developers and generally speaking, this blueprint is useless, which is why I will never use this skin. Feel free to write me your opinion about this blueprint in the comments. If you like the video then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to support the data miner for force throw with your sub. On tier 45 we see the new epic backpack called Fearless Explorers Pack which is fine but not very special although various utensils are attached to the backpack. Finally, on tier 50. 
we can expect this epic rubble maker skin for the new MG42 functional weapon. Even though this blueprint fits very well with the new jungle theme of the new season 4, I am quite disappointed with the developers due to the fact that almost all blueprints in the new BP seem to have been created without much effort. In my opinion, this is one of the worst battle passes we've ever had in Call of Duty Mobile. Feel free to write me your opinion about it in the comments. Furthermore, at tier 50 in the new BP we get this new epic Sims character in his gunner uniform. Another Sims character skin in a battle pass which seems to be just a gap filler to complete the battle pass. What do you think? Apart from that, I have nothing more to say about the new battle pass rewards. To summarize, I think that the new season 4 battle pass is definitely not recommendable due to the bad blueprints. Otherwise, at least two of the four character skins are good, which is why I recommend that you don't buy the new battle pass. Of course you are welcome to write your opinion on the new BP in the comments. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.